Ooh-wee, bringing together artists in the community while unveiling new works of art. That is the idea behind The Drop. It's a new initiative from our friends at Charlotte is Creative. So Matt Olin is here this morning to talk about it, along with one of the artists taking part, Ty McBride. Today is also Ty McBride's birthday. Yay! Happy birthday, Ty. <laughs> Very exciting. We're so glad to have you here on your big day. But tell me about The Drop, Matt. So The Drop is um, a, a new series that we're launching, funded by the North Carolina Arts Council with the Spark the Arts grant. And it's all about lifting up artists on the rise. Mm. And we like this idea of combining compensation, which is super important, with innovative exposure. So. Uh, Ty and Danielle and Ricky, the three artists here, they're not only getting paid to create this mural, we're essentially commissioning them to create this mural, but they're also, the, the work's gonna appear on beer cans uh, through Divine Barrel Brewing that is gonna be distributed statewide for the next three months. So, uh, so it's gonna drive really innovative exposure to them as well. Uh, you know, talk, before Ty and I get a chance to chat, I want you to talk to me a little bit about that idea of compensation for yeah, artists. Yeah, yeah. Because it is so important and I think so often people say, well, can't you just, just or what you exposure, just, right? yeah, exactly. So it turns out that artists die of exposure and. <laughs> <laughs> that the exposure card is accepted nowhere, uh -huh. right? So exposure is important, but it needs to be compensated with with compensation. Yeah. It, needs to, it needs to be coupled with paying artists what they're worth. Yep. That's what they're here to do on the planet, and there's a massive value to that, and they need to be compensated for that. So we're trying to model that for the community. Yeah, and Ty, I would imagine you co-sign that. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Tell me, tell me a helps. little bit about art in your life, when it started for you, and, and where it's taken you. Oh, I, I started with art as a kid. Um, I was a loner kid. My mom drew a lot, uh -huh. so I would do what she did just to kind of occupy myself. Um, my little sister and I are 10 years apart. Okay. So I was by myself for 10 years yep. trying to figure out how to keep myself occupied and that <laughs> became art. <laughs> um, so now it's just getting to the point where I'm actually doing it as like a paid thing. I just started doing that within the last maybe four or five years. Yeah. Um, and it's been great. I mean, I'm working with awesome people like Matt here and Ricky. They've been teaching me a lot. So it's been going great. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about your work. What, what do you focus on and, and how is the drop going to kind of factor into all that? I'm mostly a portrait artist, so I do a lot of realism um, and things of that nature. With the drop, though, he kind of pushed me a little bit. Ricky was like, we're going to do some spray paint. I was like, who? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know about that, but OK, we'll try. So he's been teaching me how to do spray paint oh my and, God. and kind of include that more in what we do um, and expand and grow. Ricky's been a great teacher and mentor to figure yeah, out how to do those to things. Just to piggyback on that, too. Yeah. So part of the drop is that every quarter, we're going to partner with a new community uh, partner. Yep. So in this case, it's Beatty's Ford Strong, which was founded in, in 2020 by Ricky Singh. And so there's an element of mentorship here, too. A veteran artist partnering up with two sort of rising stars and teaching them new things that maybe is is, is a new expansion of their of their uh, palette or their um, their tools, if you will. Yeah, and so when when Ricky sits you down and says, "Okay, this is what we're going to do. We're going to push the envelope a little bit for you." Yeah, it's scary, but now that you've been working with that and sort of doing a different thing, how does that felt for you? It honestly felt amazing because it yeah. kind of taught me more freedom. Like when you're a portrait artist, you're usually focusing on so many of the small details, whereas with the spray paint, it allows you to just create because you're just it has more freedom like you can cover things easier you can kind of move around so it opened my mind a lot to be able to create different things so when you're a kid and you're drawing and you're doing what your mom's doing right and you're trying to occupy your time until your sister comes along did you ever in your mind think maybe someday i'll get paid for this no never uh -huh. never i started painting seriously in law school so <laughs> total different worlds whoa <laughs> yeah so it was totally different i thought i was going to be a lawyer out here with the briefcase and the, you know, the nice suits. Well, yeah. you could have done either, <laughs> but the city of Charlotte is relieved that you're leaning in the direction of art because now Thank we get you. to see your beautiful work. How is this going to unfold? What are we going to see? So one of the reasons we call it the drop, we're dropping knowledge, we're dropping new art, but we're also dropping a curtain. We're going to have a big reveal event. We have a flair for the dramatic. Yes, you I do. Say? <laughs> so we are going to have a, a drop curtain event where we reveal the, the, uh, the, the mural. Uh, this coming Tuesday, the 15th at 7 o'clock at Divine Barrel Brewing. They're our venue partner. And so it's going to be exciting, and there's going to be an artist conversation, and uh, I can't wait. We tested the, the, the curtain drop the other day. It's very dramatic. <laughs> it, it's dramatic, and it works. It works. It works. Very good. And then we'll see another one next quarter? Yep, next quarter there'll be another one. We'll have a new community partner, new artists, and a new uh, curtain drop. Absolutely. Well, that's amazing. Ty, thank you so much. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. And happy birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah, yeah. And then all the information right there on your screen. Of course, you can follow Ty. You can follow the folks at Charlotte is Creative. Good to see you, friend. Thank you very much. Good to see you, new friend. Thank you. All right, Mary, back over to you.